So question on your worksheet there is why HIV is infection is considered to be lifelong. So take 10 seconds, talk that over quickly with your group and offer me an answer. All right, so who's got an idea? Right up here. It, changed the, it changes the host's DNA, indeed. So once it's integrated into that genome, once this cell replicates, it's now replicating that viral genome as well, along with its own. Yeah. It's possible that another retrovirus could maybe get in there and cut out the the problem is that it's hard to target because of those random errors that were made with the reverse transcriptase making the RNA into DNA right that's part of what has made HIV such a difficult um, disease to tackle are those random errors but yeah it's possible um, all right so the question then oops so, not again so we can now add um, a T helper cell with its surface protein to our diagram of HIV on your worksheet. And this is a terrible scale, right? Um, the scale, as you know, is more like it was in the video. Great big giant cell. Um, think basketball cell, little tiny marble virion. Even smaller than that, really. But um, So try to get better scale than this, but go ahead and add a T helper cell and the important parts to your diagram. So much art today. <laughs> yes? Well, yes, but the problem is the reverse transcriptase isn't ours. It's the viruses. Yeah. We don't have reverse transcriptase in our own cells. It brings it with it. So we'd have to then like manage to target the virus in order to change that. And the fact that it's in there is what makes the virus hard to target anyway, right? It's because it's a little bit of a catch-22. But I like where, you, like where you're at. Yeah. There are quite a few, yeah. That's why there are other lifelong infections like herpes simplex virus, things like that, yeah. All right, do we have a T helper cell yet? Do we need a minute? I have another question anyway. Question? Do they know where HIV came from? Um, they're not entirely certain, and I'm not super certain, but I think that I may have read something at some point about it being derived from SIV, simian immunodeficiency syndrome. Yeah, I heard like someone ate a monkey, or they somehow got contacted. Right, I mean, every once in a while, an animal disease jumps to a human disease. It's called zoonoses. It's not many, like uh, the flu usually jumps from birds to people. Plague, yes. No, the random errors are in the DNA code, so it'll it'll just like a mutation, right? A switches to a T. So it has different mutations every time, basically. Yeah, different mutations. Yeah. Awesome. Like the reading theory is that someone got it through like torturing like monkeys. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. So I'm, I'm told here that it is the leading theory that this disease jumped from 
a simian host, a human host, during probably some bushmeat related activity, butchering or consumption of wild animals. All the more reason to avoid the bushmeat trade, um, as if you needed another reason.